Havana. I remember when I seen those on commercials and they had those fancy trucks like that. I'm like, there's no way they're going to put them on trucks like that. They really do. I think you can buy a car through them. Not 100% sure. But the trucks are kind of cool. I like kind of dig them. Oh, what do you think of Carvana? <laughs> yeah, you're giving free advertising. No, I'm not. I truly, I don't know what they are. I think they sell cars. I just seen them on commercials and I thought the trucks look kind of cool. Hey, yeah, I got my Afghan. Yeah, that means it's starting to get cold though, doesn't it? Well, the truck is clean for now. We'll see how long that lasts. Either it'll be covered in bugs by the end of tonight, or most likely we'll probably find rain somewhere. We're in Walcott, Iowa right now. Our current temperature today is 67 degrees out, 87% humidity. So temperature wise is down, but the humidity is racing up there. I've been grabbing the camera as we go across and trying to record a little bit here and a little bit there. I've been kind of in a crabby mood. I'm kind of in a crabby mood today. And there's no one to blame other than myself. It's 100% self-inflicted, as it always usually is. I'm just really disappointed in myself. Let's just put it that way. Our route is, well, our destination. Let's just put it that way. It's Greenfield, Indiana. We're running our normal stuff. We're gonna get out to Greenfield, kick this wagon off, hook onto an empty one, and start heading west on Interstate 70 to grab our reload. Really don't have much more than that. So we're going to get on the road, we're going to do some trucking, and I probably will be back with you guys a little bit later on. I hope.
Knoxville, Illinois to top off the refrigerated trailer's fuel tank and to slide the tandems a little bit. I'm having a little bit of a bounce issue. I think tomorrow we may need to slide our fifth wheel ahead a little bit. With the loads we've been hauling here lately, they keep getting heavier and more not loaded properly, I guess you could say. Well, we will try that. What I haven't shown, this is our third time trying to slide them to get to where we want to be, to where it's not bouncing. The trick when you are in an upset or crabby mood is not to spread the wealth. Don't put other people into a crabby mood. Self-isolate if you have to. It seems to be working for me tonight. Crawfordsville, Indiana. Over the past couple months, I've been able to book my loads a week before, if not at least five full days before I take them. And for our past three weeks of trucking, I've kind of goofed up and I've booked the loads without looking at an actual calendar. Oh no. Now, the calendar is on my phone, and in my own defense here, I am well not an organized person enough to actually keep a calendar. I'm just not organized. But Sarah is. So Sarah puts it on the calendar and it syncs up with my phone. So I've actually been able to keep track of things that way. Well, the past three weeks of trucking, I have not kept up with that calendar at all. And it has led to me missing two big events. Well, two events that I want to be around for. Soon to be three today. All I can say is thank God I have a good sister. And my dad has a at least one loving child that is willing to remember things. You see, my dad's last radi or last radiation treatment for his prostate cancer is today, approximately in about five hours. And I kind of wanted to be around for that. It's a big thing, at least in my eyes, it's a big thing. And Luckily my sister has been there, I think the last five days she's been putting up signs. Every time he walks out of the clinic where he gets it done, she'll have like five more times, four more times, three more times. And I'm sure she's going to do something very big for this one. And Sarah and the kids, they plan on doing a barbecue and having just kind of a little celebration of, Hey Dad, you accomplished seven weeks of five days a week getting radiation put into your body. 
good job. So hence the bad mood and the disappointment. That's what's going on today. In the wise of our weather, sometimes I kind of forget how heavy that hood is. In the wise of our weather, the weather has turned foggy. Um, the humidity is still here, but it's cold. Whew, I got shorts on, man. It just feels cold, but with that humidity, it's extremely sticky. We ran into rain, of course. It was more of a drizzle. And this fog is making more of a drizzle. So we're getting the normal, you know, the streaks running down the, the side of the truck. The mirrors are covered. The windshield's a mess. But for the most part, the rest of the truck's looking clean. I try, guys. You guys give me some stress on not keeping a clean truck all the time like I used to. Well, I try. It, it just gets to the point anymore where you're like, whatever. Just, just wash it every once in a while. Well, as I was sitting there talking to you guys back there in Crawfordsville, I get a text from Dad. It's kind of a normal morning thing if he sees me running still when he wakes up. He sends me a text and says, hey, how's things going? He makes the comment, man, I can't wait till today's done. Everybody's making such a big deal out of it, but quite frankly, I just cannot wait until it's done. My reply back to him was, well, it is a big deal, Dad. Seven weeks is a long time going through what you've been going through. But leave it to Dad. And Mom, she does the same thing. Leave it to both of them to just kind of make it like it's no big deal. Anyway. We've made it to uh, Greenfield, Indiana now. We're unhooked. I'm going to go throw the paperwork in. We're going to grab a hold of an empty trailer. Then I'm going to call it a night. You guys stay safe. And as always, i see you next time. Oh, you just got to be kind. Just remember that, guys. Whenever you're angry or upset, you just got to be kind. All right, so my empty trailer is sitting in door 13 and is not empty. And it could be possibly up to four to five hours before it is empty. We were going to take a break anyway. Unfortunately, now it's not a uh, rest-free break. Now it's one of those breaks where you're waiting for a phone call. Because when that trailer is empty, it's one of those deals where it's get off my property. That's okay. We smile and say, have a good day. My name's Kurt, and I'm a dork. Hmm. It could be a little bit since my trailer's not even in that door that they said my trailer is in yet. I'm gonna go to bed.